Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman, and this is the Murray's Cole Hipster T. Uh, this board uh, is actually developed from demand by people surfing Maurice's boards. Uh, there was a lot of people getting his metros, his hetros, his protos, and his ATMs, and he wanted, those uh, surfers wanted a board uh, that had more grovel potential, more soft wave potential, and, and wanted a board that was wider, a little bit more forgiving to add to their quiver, and, and they wanted Maurice to shape it. Great shaper. He's producing a lot of modern designs, and they wanted to see what Maurice's twist would be on this whole new category of boards that's blown up over the last couple of years. So talk a little bit about this board. You look at this board, and we've talked about this in the written review. It has a lot of characteristics that you would see in some other boards, um, even specifically in the Lost line. It's very, the outline's very reminiscent of a, of a Lost round nose fish crossed with a Lost bottom feeder. So the curves and the and the wider nose forward of the round nose fish, but everything wider and a little bit flatter, uh, like the bottom feeder. Uh, with Maurice, uh, he has a lot of shaping uh, that he's brought, developed himself, and, and brought to the surfing world, and revolu revolutionized shaping several times over in several different generations of surfers. Uh, the first of which was his reverse V bottom shape, and uh, that was what he brought through uh, with Tom Curran back when Tom Curran was dominating the world tour and it and it uh, went on to you know basically be in every shaper's toolbox and what reverse V is and, and what Maurice calls it like he'll actually the boards that he's making with reverse V are called EEV which if you spell it out backwards and then you flip it over that actually says V so reverse V in his lineup is EEV but normally a board would go flat or concave to V in the tail but on this board and any of his boards that have reverse V, it actually has V up front in the board. So basically under your front foot, you can see that this straight edge is rocking back and forth off the center line. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to ride a wider board that's gonna dampen any chop coming up the face, but it's also gonna allow you to rock off of that V that's up forward underneath your front foot. It's gonna make that wider width on the board seem like a lot less. So the width isn't gonna fight you like it would on a concave board. When you go to the back of this board, basically under your back foot, it's got a single concave. And so on his metros and the heteros, he's riding uh, a radically deep concave. It's not anywhere as near as deep as uh, on those boards, but it is a substantial single that runs underneath your back foot and out through the fins. And so what the combination of this bottom shape does for you is it neutralizes the width, makes the board really easy to go rail to rail up forward. And then once you're up and planing and driving off your back foot, it allows you to really get up and go and go significantly faster than a lot of these gravel boards that have full length V will allow you to do. The other place where this board differs from a lot of the full gravel boards is, is just the curviness and the ability to actually surf the board. So rather than just focusing on paddling into the wave and gliding, uh, the Hipster T really wants to be surfed. Uh, it surfs really well in the pocket, and because it's got such a good amount of outline curve and then a little bit more brought in in the tail, and there also is some rocker in the board compared to the dead flat grovelers, it, does, it seems to catch waves almost as easily or just as easily as a full-on barn door flat board, but likes to be turned like once you're on the wave. So it's definitely a more enjoyable, fun board to surf, especially if you're into turning, and I think anybody out there is actually into turning. So... It makes it a little bit more fun that way. Another side of it is also the range of the board. If you have something that's dead flat and dead parallel and outline, it's gonna have a, a very limited range as far as like when the surf gets a little bit better. This board, you can still go out and take it out on a, on a knee to thigh high, knee to waist high day, it's gonna work great. But you can also take it out when it's stomach to head high and it's still gonna work and work well. And that's because of the curve in the outline and the curve in the rocker is still gonna fit into the wave. One of the things um, <clears throat> when looking at this board was the, uh, the fin setup and also the tail. You can see that the tail's definitely wide, but it's not as wide as a lot of the, the super grovelers, which would kind of be out here. And so right off the bat, we thought that this board would work well both as a tri and a quad, just because the dimensions in the tail aren't super radical. Um, I wrote it first as a, uh, as a quad and fooled around with different quad sets. It definitely likes a quad that's got a uh, obviously bigger front and smaller back, but if you start riding some of the quads where they're closer to being equal in size, it's gonna make the board feel stiff. And so that kind of goes with its fishy outline. Anything that's fishy, you wanna have definitely bigger bigger fronts proportionally than the back. So you wanna run 
like a medium or a smaller size uh, trailer on it, that's going to loosen up the tail off the top. But because this tail isn't super wide, you can also ride it as a tri-fin. And so um, today we were surfing this morning, uh, put in the performers. These are, this is a big board. This is 510 by 22 by two and three quarters. And uh, so these are extra large performers for big, big guys. So this is my own personal board. Uh, but as a tri-fin, the board works great as a tri-fin as well. So there's a lot of people out there that just like tri-fins and they don't want to have a quad and then their tries. So this is a good board to look at if you're looking for something with good gravel, like soft wave potential, and you want the thing to be tri-compatible, because all these other boards are coming out and they're just basically quad only, otherwise the tail's just too wide for a tri. This board does work as a, uh, as a tri-fin. So, I mean, initially when I got this board, I, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I was comparing it a lot to a lot of the grovelers that I have, which are uh, a Lazy Boy, uh, a Couch Potato, a Bottom Feeder, and all of those boards are very flat uh, and very, very drivey. And so initially my first, my first comparison of this board was directly to those boards. And I thought, hey, it, it just doesn't have the drive down the line uh, as those boards. And it, and it didn't feel much stiffer. I mean, it didn't feel much looser than those boards. But then once I started fooling around with the quad fins, making those back quad fins, the trailer fins smaller, that's when the looseness came. And then also the tri was also good for drive off of that big back fin, the, um, and then also working the turn of the board in, in the pocket of the wave, which a lot of those boards can't because they're so flat, that's when uh, this board really lit up. So it's a different board than the full-on gravel boards, but it definitely has a lot more turning potential uh, than those boards. And it's also, I think, if you're looking for one board to solve a gravel to mid-range quiver, without having to go two boards. The Hipster is definitely a board to, to keep an eye on. Um, this board here is uh, a combo of Maurice using an EPS blank, so really light, and then it's Hydroflex uh, natural uh, construction with an Apex glass schedule. So this board is going to be stronger than your standard PU Poly, but it is feather light. Everybody that picks this thing up is just shocked how light it is. Um, also, the Hipster is available in uh, standard PU Poly. If, if that's what you're used to riding, that's going to be the less expensive construction. It's going to give you a, a really familiar feel on the water. So definitely a board to check out if you're looking at re-upping some of your boards in the softer wave or even, you know, hollow waves up to about head high. Uh, this is definitely a board to check out. Great, super easy to surf, really turny, and uh, fun. A lot of range in it. It's the Hipster T from Maurice Cole.